All right, welcome into the Caveman Media Podcast. Today's show is brought to you by More Property Services. More Property Services is a company that prides themselves in what they do. Their services include, but are not limited to, weekly lawn mowing services, aerating and overseeding spring and fall cleanups, mulching and rock installs, small tree and stump removal. Give them a call anytime. The leaves are falling. I was out there raking leaves today. Don't be that guy. Stay on the couch. Watch football. Watch TV. There's plenty of new shows out on Netflix. Just stay inside. Let Clay and the guys deal with it. Let them clean up your yards. Give them a call. 937-830-5524. That's more property services. M-O-O-R-E. Again, check out their Facebook page for all the great work they do. Let's get to the show. Welcome in. Cayman Media Podcast. Connor's here. Full, full show today. Everybody's here. Every single what? person. Packed the barn today, boys. Oh, Connor, Jordan, okay. Jake, Drew, Zach, Matt, myself, all here today. Yeah, yeah. I don't like how fast that was. Yeah, that was crazy <laughs> fast. Last week it took like us twisted. five minutes to get through that. <laughs> well, you know, just changing things up. He didn't make us like say something yeah. weird in between. <laughs> he didn't make us do roll call. Yeah. Like yeah. Connor, Connor, how what? how is your day doing? My day is doing well. How is Good. your day doing? Good. That's what my son asked him today. No. Uh, Jordan, how was your day, man? Uh, it's going pretty good. Jake, it's good. Drew, yeah. wonderful. Hey, it's victory. Hey, victory Monday. Monday. That's all I know. <laughs> Congratulations. Good, good, Zach. <laughs> well, that was too much. Not doing as well as uh, Drew today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's too victory much. Monday for me okay. too. Good, good for you guys. Let me get a hell yeah if your team's four and two. Hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Here's my oh, question. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get into. We'll get, obviously we're gonna talk football. Actually, okay, we're not gonna talk football yet. Let's get into this. Yeah. Connor, congratulations, get engaged. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. He, he channeled his inner like thirteen year old and like, look who's got a ring on her finger. How was, <laughs> I the, didn't. How was the moment? Was it was it big? Was it? Were you I, it was pretty normal. I don't know. Walk yeah. us through it. How did it go? Uh, Here's the breakdown. See. What did you say? We got how on the you, got on the bridge. I, I faked her out and I told her, like, let's take some pictures, right? right? So I set my phone down. I was like, I'll just start a video and then I'll screenshot the video. That's how we'll get our pictures. She was like, why don't you just start a timer? And I was like, nah, that's a terrible idea. So she sets her phone up to do the timer method. I do the video method. Uh, <laughs> and then I proposed in the middle of the little photo session. Aww. Was it just you two down there? Yep. There's some people in the river, you know, watching in the creek. Yeah, there were a couple people They're around just the bridge. in the river. I mean, it's like it's a, a creek, creek yeah. running oh. down from the mountain in Gatlinburg. Yeah, not, not on the river. bridge. <laughs> That's where I proposed to was Gatlinburg. Oh, cool, nice, nice. I feel like I knew that maybe. And you don't know there's a that was like seven years a ago. Whole ass river that runs literally right through my. So here's, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> here's the question. Here's the question. Connor's been engaged for it's two days. Be Connor, three days. days. Yeah, I was. Matt's say, been Connor, engaged for question. seven years. Connor seven, gets married not first. Seven years. It's been. Uh, five years. Money's on oh, Connor. Yeah, Connor years. will be married. Money. Yeah. Now. Well, apparently I'm getting married in fucking March. So there you go. Money Congratulations. She's planning man. this shit out very quick. Nice. Wow. She was ready. Very she quick. was wow. very, <laughs> very <laughs> quick. Yeah. I feel like she might have already had it. Planned. She was very yeah, she's, ready. She's, she's like, literally like we. So I proposed and then we went and like grabbed a beer. We sat down. I get a beer. She's like, so I think I'm going to ask my bridesmaids is. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You got to <laughs> pump the brakes. <laughs> like all you like were really waiting on was for me to propose at this point. What <laughs> yeah. So, so what did everybody Vegas? else do to propose? No, definitely going to Vegas. What? I got a ring pop. Actually, so me and Connor have something in common. We both imposed. On a proposed bridge. on a bridge, yeah. Well, I remember yeah, that, cool. like, because like, you came it's up a terrible to me. option. Because yeah. so they no, they know they'll just jump off. Like we were guys that should have jumped off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I want to give my side from that that story right there, dude. I tried to find that video to show Kaylee. I of, could not find uh, it. On it's on bridge. Facebook. It's on Facebook somewhere. But uh, we're walking down in San Antonio with the River Walk, <clears> and. Cody's hoping that we go to somewhere to eat because my sister hasn't had anything. Just got out of basic. Um, somewhere nice to eat where he can propose to her. My mom turns around and goes, let's go to Joe's Crab Shack. No, no, no. It was Dick's Last Resort. <laughs> oh, Dick's Last Resort. No, it, no. Was, it wasn't Dick's. It was Joe's Crab Shack. I swear it was Dick's Or one of those two. Uh, She's like, let's go, to, let's go to one of them. And then I think we Cody, went to Joe's Crab Shack. <laughs> yeah. And, uh. And Cody comes up to me and like tugs me on the shoulder and goes, dude, I'm trying to propose to her and I'm trying to get this done. I'm like, dude, screw it. Just go over to that bridge right there and do it. And he did. He just grabbed her up and did it right yeah, there. Yeah, we went up on the bridge right on the river like, walk there in San Antonio and we did it right there. <laughs> Connor on so a bridge Kay- in Gatlinburg. You were, uh, go ahead. 
Now, when I was like pulled the ring out and was going down, Kaylee thought I was like pulling a prank on her. She didn't think there was a ring inside. Man, that would have been <laughs> she, funny. And then, uh, that she had to like, check it out. Are you serious? As I was going down, but I open it and I was like, "What do you mean? Yes!" And she just takes the. She's like, "Oh my god!" Just takes it she out. She grabbed the ring. Yeah, she just takes the ring. <laughs> put it on herself. Her <laughs> yeah. What kind of bullshit? She didn't is like that? even realize it till after, but it was funny. Oh my, Matt Gatlinburg, on like on the strip, like right in front of everybody. So, no, we. You're good. Uh, you can hear me? Yeah, perfect. can't hear myself at all. <laughs> I hear you. Anyways, right. Everybody hears we you. went white water rafting. I had the ring in my pocket. Oh, that's, that's dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> we flipped the boat. So, I mean, up until the point we For some reason, proposed, I, this does not surprise me. I wasn't even sure the ring was in my pocket. Oh, so, my God. Because I didn't have the box hey, at that, that point. Hey, that just been aside from but God. But like. if you've ever been white water <laughs> rafting, well, boys. Uh, you, you have to go kind of out of Gatlinburg on the way back. There's a bunch of overlooks. And we pulled over in one of the overlooks, so we had the mountains behind us, and proposed there. Wow. Five years ago. Jake? Shit, mine's not romantic at all, dude. First, well, first of all, no. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever his born. is, mine's worse. So. <laughs> okay. First of all. All right, let's battle it out here. Who's worst? worst First of all, Jake my mom, mom, like, fucked it up and, like, told her to say no and, like, not to, <laughs> not to even do anything because she didn't want me to get married. And so, like, my mom called her and told her beforehand and just That's fucked fun. everything up. So, yeah. You guys made it through all that. Wow. Fuck yeah, dude. My mom tried to so where were you? I mean, where? where? <laughs> Miamisburg? <laughs> like where? <laughs> like what do you mean? <laughs> like out to dinner? Like no, at like home? at our studio apartment. There you go. There you going go. out to dinner afterwards, but all right, there you go. Where'd all you right, go to nice. dinner afterwards? <laughs> Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Very romantic, yeah, classy Dude, individual. <laughs> 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 Drew, go He's ahead. Like, babe, you can we're have doing all the two the for twenty. You want? <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. We had right. just, it's when we had just moved in our first apartment. We had just found out she was pregnant. I already had the ring, but I was like, well, I guess here we go. So I wrote, marry me, question mark, on a piece of paper and left it sitting on the kitchen table. I did see that. <laughs> <laughs> did that Were you even home? Yeah, I was sitting on the couch. No. You come home and it's She's just like, like crumbled up. <laughs> she checks no. You never no. pick anything up. Yeah. <laughs> she like goes in there. Trash everywhere. And she picks it up. She's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. Like, so you didn't even get down on one knee. No, you definitely have the Jesus. worst story. Yeah. So speaking of engagements, you all know Steve. This yes. is his is kind of funny because he did it in Vegas. Took an Uber out to the desert. Uber left. He proposed, romantic thing. Took pictures. Went to request an Uber. No phone service. <laughs> <laughs> they had to walk four miles before they got wait. Phone like service. actually, <laughs> Steve or the dude that's name is like. So this Uber just thought Steve. it was okay to just drop him off in the middle of the desert. <laughs> this is where he required. It was like some area where they do photos and stuff, probably, but he just had no that, phone. Uh, service. It's not his problem. It's like, yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. it's probably like, the area that we do all yeah. like, that we did all of our photos. He's probably like, fuck. Now hey, I gotta drive all the way back. So to that was the first test of their soon to be marriage because I feel like Brooke would have killed me if the meter isn't running. He ain't gonna stay there. Like, come on. Wow, yeah, that's interesting. All right, uh, what else we got? Let's we'll get into football. No, we got to talk. You got to explain the whole. Your neighbor rose from the okay, dead. Okay, okay. So yeah. Oh yeah. So, guy oh. lives across the street from me. I didn't know about this. Yes, because you don't have. An <laughs> yeah, iPhone. you don't have an iPhone. <laughs> I don't know. We're all about to learn. They, they said he was like he had days to live. So the, uh, my guy, cro- <laughs> my guy, across the street, uh, good old Clay, he. Went to the hospital, apparently, and he, this was like three months ago, and he had some kidney issues, liver issues or something. He has like three days to live or something. It's what our other neighbor told us. So maybe it's on our other neighbor. Maybe he was a little dramatic about it. Some fake that the guy that goes to the bar every day? Yes. <clears throat> and oh. so then he, Incredible. we were told last, we were <laughs> right. told last three months ago that he was staying with his mother up in Columbus until he, you know. And himself? three Kick. months, later, <laughs> yeah. probably. Kick the uh, and three months later, we're we'll s- I'm sitting die. in the in our living room just now, like two hours ago, and a truck pulls up. S- swear to God, this guy gets out, and I literally just yell. To Taylor just sitting there. I was like, "It's him!" <laughs> <laughs> Did the truck pull away? No, no, no. Somebody oh. else was driving. I would say that'd be fucking awesome. But yeah. He just pulls up, gets out of a truck, and they pull off. <laughs> so, yeah. So truck pulls up, he gets out, goes inside, and then I was like, I think I didn't say anything at first. Like I saw somebody go inside, but there's been people coming in and out, like checking on the house or whatever. This good man walks out. I literally, it's him. And she jumps up, looks out the window, and she's like, oh my God. It was 
It was hey, on the bright quite side. Quite the moment. You won't have the woman sleeping in her car in front of your house anymore. Well, she's still there. So. Oh. I've oh. missed all that. She, she went across the street and gave him a hug, and then she went back to her car. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. She lived in the house across the street. Nice. And oh now she lives God. in her car. In front of Cuddy's house. And pretty much. Well, are you going to run her an extension cord? No. No. Offer we're going to we're going to run something else. Offer the driveway. Um, all right. Uh something else before we get into football. Zach's uh cheating on us. What? He's got another podcast. Oh. Hey. Um, what? What's I'm it? not really cheating on you. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to give you a shout uh, out yeah, to your yeah, other podcast. I, I shout you guys out. So you just have a side cast. So That's like, what you have. Us uh, guys, it's you too. Yeah. No. Or, uh, well, so who's the sidekick? <laughs> Maybe cast? us uh, or them? Well, That's why I want to uh, know. It's going to be called who's the, the Morning cast? Woods. It, uh, I think episode one's out with uh, a local comedian, Jarrell. Um, Where can you find that? And who's the host? Johnny Woods. Johnny Woods. If you were at the uh, Cave and Media Hundredth Show Celebration at Sparky's Lounge um, on Saturday, uh, August twenty eighth. You put the date. You put the, <laughs> didn't put the, the time. <laughs> so, you you saw he Johnny Woods. For, uh, he opened up for Wyatt during that. Yep. Um, it's it's going pretty well. Like uh, it's just it's on Spotify, yeah. right? So Spotify. I'm doing pretty much what Connor does. I'm like, they call me Fat Jamie. <laughs> like, from so, the Joe Rogan show. Yeah, they, they're like like the other com- like we've done we've had four guests. It's just the editing everything and this that and the other. He Connor knows how hard that shit is. And shout out to Connor so, real yeah, quick. So we're Connor. we're. Uh, we're clipping up a lot of stuff. We're just trying to pump out as much content as possible. That's right. enough. Check them out. Yeah. Um, That's but, enough. What's it called again? I'm over it. The Morning Woods. Morning Woods. Yeah. Yeah. like, yeah, yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> Lost interest. Where can you find that? <laughs> Spotify, I was right? trying to give Connor some credit. Spotify, right? You can, uh, yeah, I or think YouTube you can go on Spotify and Apple. Okay, there you go, Connor. Nice. Um, you all right, so. Apple without even having an Apple? What? <laughs> Never mind, go ahead. Week six of sure the Johnny NFL season is wrapped up, excluding uh, tonight's Monday Night Football game. The Bengals, they got the dub on the road, 30-something Woo. to 11. Look at DeAndre Hopkins right. carve up the Browns' defense. That was something else. Are we going to talk about the Bengals? Or are you gonna touch Let's focus here, boys. Yeah. Yeah. One o'clock games. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <today. laughs> it was on the TV. There's the the listeners don't see the TV. All right. The Bengals. <laughs> The Bengals beat the Lions. I'm Bengals. not going to talk about it. Big so if you win. guys want to talk Bengals, about it, talk about it. I'm yeah. not going to talk, talk about, about it. I'll talk about it all day if you want. Joe Burrow looked great on the field. CJ Uzama got a touchdown, broke a phone. Great. Joe Burrow did not look great. Okay, Drew's a hard He looked critic. great in the second half. He exactly. looked great in the second half, but, God, the first half was rough. Anyway, 34 to Uzama 11. Though. I mean, yeah, first half was whatever. Um, but the they won like stink. they should. That's Defense played it. amazing right, the won. entire game. That's all that matters. They win. CJ Uzama has to pay for a fan's phone now. That's a totally different story there. Um, it, and you know yeah. what? Jamar Chase is a better blocker than Panini Sewell or whatever that guy is. So I don't want to hear the comparisons anymore. Penis Sewell. Penis. Penis. Thank, thank yeah. you for the correction, <laughs> Drew. Penis Jesus Sewell. Christ. He is so, a better blocker. Joe Burrow, 19 of 29, 171, 71 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. He has now seven interceptions. 171. He was over 271. two. 271. Tied for yeah. fourth or fifth for most touchdowns. So I have yeah. I have two stat lines for the Bengals. One. So, Joe Burrow, AFC quarterback rankings. Oh, yeah, you got that. Um, All right. So, in PFF passing grade, he's first. Touchdowns, he's second. Completion percentage, second. PFF overall, second in the AFC. And then, Jamar Chase. This is the one that blew my mind because I didn't think – so, I was just bored at work, like, looking at NFL stats. Jamar Chase is fourth in receiving stats. So he has 553. He's 100 yards behind Devontae Adams, and he has 25 less targets or less catches. That's insane. It is. He's over. He's 20 and a half yards of reception. Because he's the deep threat. So, I mean, to have a guy come out, you know, he's on pace. I mean, I don't know if he'll keep it up, but he's on pace to absolutely shatter Justin Jefferson's record from uh, he, last year. So he he pretty, had he the same start Rand- as Randy Moss. Yeah, I was going to say he tied Randy Moss, by the it's way. It's pretty ironic that he had got – that big key block for the – was it the mix-in touchdown? Yeah. And against Great Penn yeah. team. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Well, like, it was like what Zach Taylor said today. He's like, as a coach, that's what you want to see, like, unselfish. He literally was behind Mixon and ran in front Sped of him up. to make the block. 
Like, yeah. and then they're celebrating together. He's like, as a coach, like. And Mixon's like, that's his touchdown. That's his <laughs> touchdown. He made that touchdown. <laughs> Jamar like, told CJ Zama, I'm out there like a tight end. I look like a tight end, <laughs> don't I? <laughs> yeah, so they had Jamar Chase. They haven't released the whole thing, but they had him mic'd up Sunday. Cool. Moving on. It was. <laughs> you want to come over here on Pop Pop's shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> it was a great, it was a great stress-free like Sunday for the first Bird. time in a long time. Even the backups got to come in and play a little bit, which yeah, never happened. When's the happens. last time we put the backups in? Because the they said it was against. Now. They said it was against the, the Browns <laughs> in like 2017 or something like that. Was the last but time we. Blew I will say like Ford that. Field is amazing. That it. Is it really? Never, yes, it is extremely nice. <laughs> Dave Laplin said it's on the radio the today. He said it's shit. not the Br- or the Lions are not bad because of their facilities, their practice facilities, or yeah. their home football field. <laughs> yeah, the indoor practice facility really makes them. So they have a better. bubble. For what it's worth, Pat McAfee doesn't. They literally have like what the Bengals practice in. They have a bubble. We literally drove past it. But don't the Bengals <laughs> use UCs? Yeah. yeah so they, they do. don't have one. They just yeah. borrow they do. somebody else's. No, they pay UC for they it. They West do what Carlton the Chargers do to the Rams. They rent it out, okay? They borrow West Carrollton High School. No. So <laughs> the problem with that is I found out from uh, Bengals Gym is that they um, – so they purchased the gravel lot over you there. That. You said that? Yeah. I yeah, he sent that. that in the group chat. Oh, yeah. Well, they were, they're supposed to have a the indoor practice facility. The city won't yeah. zone the property the Bengals bought for – them to be well, able to they should have known what it was zoned for when they bought it. But they're going to pay for a new freaking... What is but it zoned for, parking? Mike Brown pretty much has all the rights to anything they can build around the stadium, so he'll just strong arm them until they do. He doesn't even own the stadium. They, they bought Hilltop Gravel. No, oh, He doesn't yeah, have yeah. to own the stadium. He owns the airspace. He controls it, what they can build in the banks. He he controls it all. How does he own the airspace? How do you own How's that everything around think? it, but you don't so, own the stadium? <laughs> is this what we're getting into? This is his contract with yeah. the city. Why not? The, the, sure. count, the, the county. He's in breach of. With the county. No, he's taxes. not. Or is that the one of the two stadiums are in breach of contract because they're not paying the correct taxes? <laughs> he doesn't Dude, have to Bengals pay taxes. The red. It's probably he, the red. He, he has literally to pay taxes for on the sale. Stadium? Paul Brown Stadium. No, he they oh, have the city has to pay taxes. for every upgrade that's done in that stadium. The city pays for, for literally thousand he, dollars. He picks what he wants. Like the new LED so board. So the only reason outside. I know this is we built the GE building that's right there in the banks. They were three feet higher than they're allowed to be per contract with Mike Brown and Paul Brown Stadium. So they bought Mike Brown a $4 million Jumbotron for being three <laughs> feet higher than the airspace they're allowed to be. That's so amazing. So you're saying Mike Brown is Hitler. What a flex. Essentially, of Cincinnati. Whoa, That's whoa, insane. whoa. We're not going to say that. Come on, Drew. Oh. Can we get T-shirts made? <laughs> <laughs> Mike <laughs> Brown is that, Hitler. It's insane to me to think about. But Can Mike Brown, like, can we go back and look Mike at his Brown emails? Mike Brown is the Hitler, of quarter, or Hitler to quarterbacks. <laughs> Jeez. How many starting quarterbacks did you have in like a ten no, year span? Uh, not the same. Man, not the same owner. A lot. You, you can make a song out of that. <laughs> hey, we can't hear you because you don't mic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can make a song out of that. <laughs> Yeah, right, you can. Let's, you let's move it? on. So right, the, Bengals, the brownies. Hold on. The Bengals won the 4-2. Oh, okay. okay. You look good. You did what you were supposed to do. You yes, beat sir. the Lions. We'll Tough game this week. As week. Zach Taylor yeah. said, that is what it was expected. Who, it, was a business, it was a business-like win. Who's That's what it should be. Yes, sir. They have Ravens. the Ravens Baltimore. next week. They're plus six and a half on the road in Baltimore. So we'll see what happens Hammer next the week. Bangs. I'm super pissed they didn't flex that over Indiana. <laughs> they don't flex games. Yes, they do. Week five. Yes, you want to bet. Luke, I'll bet you right the last oh, time they played 5 to 11, they can flex two games total. Tell me the, the last time that they flexed the game at week f- we, Between six. week 5 and week 11, they, they can, can flex two games. But tell me the last time that they have done any type of flex that early in the season. They should. Never. They never have flexed games this early in the season. I don't know what the rules on what they can or they can't. They can flex two between But they have weeks. to have more than a 10-day notice. 12-day. 12-day notice. They're not going to flex games this early because so much can change week by week this early in the season. I mean, but if it's like going from like a one o'clock to like a like the NFL's like the Sunday night game. I don't see why it's a problem. They should move us. I'm not saying it, they should be able to flex every single. No, week. I know. I agree. I'm they should saying, be able to literally decide. At well, it could Sunday be a night. People flying in and yeah, you get, no, oh, yeah, you, you go from one o'clock to eight twenty. I mean, it really. It back. I don't know. I don't know the, how the logistics of it, but. Yes, the Browns lose to the uh, Cardinals 37-14. Didn't show up to play. Injuries is a problem. Yes, refs are a problem, but take that away from it. We still lose the game. 
100%. We still lose Whoa. the game. We didn't I show mean, up to play. The game plan was bad. The script was bad. The defense is bad. There's no communication on defense. They're getting beat. They got beat twice against the Chargers on just a, a simple miscommunication, and it happened again yesterday, the exact same thing, except it wasn't a deep ball. It was but, just their best player, DeAndre Hopkins, just standing in the back of the end zone yeah, by, by himself. Bad. By himself. Yeah, by himself, just standing And there, there. was so many times throughout that game that – D Hop is wide open. AJ Green's wide open. Christian Kirk wide open. Like, how do you let? I understand that they have all these weapons, but as a defensive coordinator, you you have seven days to prepare for that. Like, how are you not? How do you leave them wide open? I understand I, getting what, beat here and there. What but, DBs I mean, it was do you have? Since I wasn't here last week, I will blame the refs for last week. But this week, there was a lot of what? horrible calls. But we, like you said, we did not show up. We didn't at have all. any DBs. But like, that's this across week. the board. You that's the no, problem. You had no DBs missing this week. And that's the problem. But like the problem is like so Baker Mayfield. If you like, I'm not saying he he's whatever. But you fumble two times. On in your territory, Baker's like, Baker had three turnovers yesterday. All of them were inexcusable. Yeah. Like, maybe the last one he was on the run. But JJ like, Watt made a good not play, knocking, but the first two, yeah. he has he has to hold uh, the ball. He has to hold on to the ball. Actually, okay, so I take it back. There was one fumble that JJ Watt hit him. He, you're on the run. You got to hold on to the ball. Did they, did they say anything about his MRI? Hold on. I the know. the one the first fumble the guy just came scotch free from his blind side and drilled him and he just he dropped the ball like yeah. that's that's an offensive lineman that's a scheme that's a yeah. play call issue the second one right. here at his shoulder that's on him you just have to hold that the was ball. the J- yeah that's yeah. the jj on you're on the run you got to hold on to the ball then he threw the interception that i i don't know what happened if he just airmailed it he thought higgins was going to break out and he broke in he should have took the dump off to odell was wide, wide open, open for a first down he doesn't trust him he's after doing last it week. so many times where he's then, not even just odell he's done it so many times yeah. where he's had the the guy open for a seven yard gain but his eyes just won't leave downfield for some reason right now i don't know what it is but he but, his eyes get stuck on the two receivers that are downfield when he's got a tight end or a running back right here that's wide open he did but, connect on a hail mary didn't he yeah, he, we did. threw a Hail Mary yeah, to Donald Jones. Yeah, made a great a, play. A prayer that just worked out. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's what every yeah, Hail Mary You take that away, and what was the score? Seven. Seven. 37 7. But, it like, say, it doesn't matter Browns, Bengals, any, anybody. If you fumble twice in your territory, and you're not going to beat the Cardinals. Ask Pitts, well, ask Pittsburgh last year during the playoffs against the Browns. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wait, you mean a snap over your head for the first so, play of the game? <laughs> and then the fall, it was just, God, my, that was amazing. My whole thing <laughs> is, like, I, I'm really starting to lose, like, 100% likeness for, for Odell Beckham. <laughs> I think oh, yeah, I that's out the window for that. every ground. Like, 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 I, I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt this season. I wanted him to do good. Go ahead, Jordan. After that. Yeah. But I honestly think that Donovan Peoples Jones will be able to step into that spot and we need to just get something for him while we can. That's why I've been saying for a while now, like everybody's been even since Odell's been there, like o- Odell's a great player. He kinda has that little drama around him though, but for the Browns, I just feel like the Browns are a lot better when he's not in a Browns uniform. What if he's off the field for injury or something else? The Browns are just a lot better off without him, in my opinion. So uh, on the Browns morning show this morning, uh, Ken Carmen said, and it's just perfect. This is 100% true. I am so tired of begging OBJ to be a star. I'm so tired of begging OBJ to be OBJ. He's not OBJ anymore. He's, I mean, he's Odell Beckham Jr. He's a wide receiver that plays in the NFL. He is not a star anymore. He, w- I don't think he ever will be. At I this think, point, he's not even a top no, twenty wide receiver. I am so receiver. tired no, of no. begging him to do those things. Top twenty five. But like, I don't know if you saw Nate Worley's post yesterday. Like, it was just very brutally honest. Like, <laughs> yeah. no matter where OBJ, like OBJ himself is a great football player. But his attitude and his chemistry with anywhere he goes, he's going to be a problem. Yeah. So You're not like, pumping him the now, ball, he gets mad. A couple yeah. years down the line, New York won that trade. No, they didn't win the trade. They got guys that don't even play for him anymore. <laughs> yeah. They didn't win the trade. Yeah, they got they Zeitler. Suck. They suck. They're one in Baltimore. five. They didn't win the trade. We both lost. There's no winners in this. So I saw There's qu- no winners in this trade. I saw a question to you. Good if morning anything, football. Go ahead. Is if the Sorry. season ended today, would you be comfortable giving Baker that franchise contract? No, because he still has another year next year on so, contract. So yeah, no, I, no, would, I, I would push it back. I wouldn't be pushing money right now, especially with the way he's playing, especially with his injuries right now. I think that since he does have next year, and if we continue to go this, down this downward spiral, which I hope we don't, but Hopefully if we I'll do, get to that next. Yeah. 
I think that we need to sit him, put Keenum in, let him go get his surgery, get better, and be 100% for next season. That late season. room surgery, he could miss six weeks and play. Be like, fine. Yeah. But so he threw a seventy. He threw the longest pass in the last five yeah. years of the NFL yesterday. And, and then it's he not affecting his throw. Sixty-six yards in the, like sixty-six point eight in the air. It's not affecting his throw. So like I, mean, I know that, you, that I know would be more. That'd be bit, even it, more concerning it, it, to like me it, is that it's not like, affecting his throwing and it's. That's what I'm saying. Why it's set him for surgery for six weeks if it's not affecting him? It's affecting. It, yeah, but it, yeah, the but thing is, the thing is now if he tore that further. You, there. The doctors are not gonna sign. The, he's not gonna play. Like if he yeah, tears that further, gonna it's gonna be it a worse. reoccurring. Well, not yeah. his not, shoulder coming not out. Not only that, though. Like just like look at it this way. Like when you have an injury on the other side of your body, even with it's your opposite of your throwing arm, you you're going to be off. You're going to be off. Like it. It doesn't matter. Like what it is. Like you're going to be off balance. You're it's going affected to be his accuracy. A hundred percent. It has yeah. affected his accuracy. It's not affecting his strength whatsoever. It's just. It really. Like you can tell. You can just tell. I think he's just uncomfortable in the pocket. I think we had both of our two starting tackles out yesterday. He's feeling the pressure, whether the pressure is there or not. He's he's ready for the pressure, whether it's there or not, and he's just not comfortable. Like so, I was listening. To, I know you hate Colin Coward, but I was listening to him today. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't bashing Baker. He really wasn't. But he was like, if you're Andrew Barry and you're sitting up in the press box and you're watching Kyler, Josh Allen, Herbert, Burrow, he was like, you see, you know, these guys are all going to make 30 plus million dollars a year. If you're watching Baker play right now, do you uh, in your head? Are you saying, what am I going to pay this guy? Am I going to pay him 30 million dollars a year? That's what yeah they were talking yeah. about on Good Morning Football. At this point, no. This, this isn't his exact money year moment. Anymore. No, this is not his money year anymore. Next year is going to be his money year. He knows this. No, he now. we. St- I think he's he's, we still now. have 11 games to play. No, this that's season. what I'm saying. That it's his not, money is right now. He's 11 games. To prove, I don't care healthy or not. If he's if he's not healthy, healthy, you guys in, don't have to sound the alarm unless you lose on Thursday. And then then yeah, it becomes this a is, problem. So my next point: we're three and three. We had a similar situation last year. We were four and one. We went into Pittsburgh and we got bent over and railed and got our asses. <laughs> I'm gonna say you guys have that game every year where you just <laughs> get the shit. We lost to Pittsburgh last year, like thirty-eight to six or something, and we were four and one. Also, your like, opener was rough. But we, we lost our opener to Baltimore, and that was I, you no know, excuse. I mean, we just got yeah. our ass beat. Yeah. And that's similar to where we're at right now. We played a good team, and they beat our ass. And now we have a bounce-back game like we had last year. We went on the road to Cincinnati, a team that we should beat at that time, whether you guys want to say it or not. We should beat the Bengals at that time last year. Last yes. year. Yes, yes. That was a game we're yeah. supposed to win. Same thing this year. Thursday night, we're playing a, a team in the Broncos that have the same record as us, but they've lost three in a row, and the three wins were against the Giants, the Jets, yeah. and the Jaguars. The Broncos not good. So they're not a good football team. We should win. We're banged up. I don't care. No excuses. How many people are you getting back? Anyone? Yeah, what's your? that's what I've been waiting honest. at. Yeah, what's so your injury Rappaport report Rappaport said like? today he does not expect Chubb to play. So. Chubb is not expected to play. Both Kareem's your, out four yeah, to six that's weeks. That's right there. Like Both that. of our tackles are out. I maybe they can come back. I don't know. They if said, we could get one of them, that'd be they great. They said Jock probably three to four weeks. Jed. J O K. J O K. Oh, J- well, Jock. defensively, That's so J O K is is out for yeah. He's contemplating I R. Jarvis. Jarvis. I thought he was supposed to play Sunday. What happened? No, he they brought him back from I R. You have oh, twenty one days not. from okay. the you're activated. To if they, they didn't take him off R, he had to stay another three weeks. Gotcha. So they took him off I R. Okay. Hopefully Jarvis plays. I, I think that's what's missing offensively is Jarvis. He is a comfort blanket for Baker. Yeah, he I knows say, if he throws the ball to Jarvis, he will make that play. If we throw that fourth and three to Jarvis instead of Odell, he makes that play. I don't know what Odell's problem yeah. is on fourth downs. He just can't catch the ball on fourth down. But Two so weeks like, in a row, he's dropped the ball on fourth down inside the 10-yard line. So that's like what I'm saying. Baker to Jarvis him. is like – uh, Joe Burrow to Tyler Boyd. Like, that's the guy when they know they have to have a catch right now. And that's right the now. craziest fucking thing to me is that he only got one reception yesterday. Tyler Boyd did. Well, he had he's, uh, he he's, had a long one that got called back. I so. know, but he gets like – he's not been getting it's as many still, targets they, for somebody yeah, that's like his He's getting as many targets. targets. He had 18% of the targets. T. Higgins had 25%. Jamar Chase had 22%. It's not – I don't give a, a fuck difference. who he's targeting. Everybody's going to Right, no, I don't like, care. They're, 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 they're all going to eat on Zama, different days. Like, like, you got endless targets. Okay, anyway, so back to the Browns. What are you back missing the on the defense? On, real quick, what scares me about the Browns is you take out your run game pretty much, which is what you lean on. Oh, correct. And, and now you have to rely on Baker to Who is the ball. your 
The Ernest back Johnson, he worked on a boat in Canada last year. So oh, you're running back. The Ernest Johnson. He, he averages and over five he, and a half yards a carry. He, he's he played really well for the Browns. He had the game ceiling uh, first down run to steal the game um, against the the Steelers he last year. Great. So he's played great when he's well, played for the Browns. They were saying but he on hasn't the, played. They were saying on the Brad broadcast yesterday he's not really a running back. He's I like a scat back. Like he's I would more have liked a, him get to see him get more touches yesterday. He didn't. We also have Cedric Felton, who's been an absolute stud. I want to see him get more touches i don't know why he hasn't i'd like to see him dbj and anthony schwartz get a way more touches than they are maybe there's something in practice they see that they're not ready yet but when they've played they've played great um for the browns though we play the broncos we will be favored in that one we should win we play the steelers we'll be favored it's the fc north you never know we'll be at the Bengals the next game if if we play the team that It'll played yesterday, be, we might beat you. I, I like think we you will one hundred percent beat us. I also There's no think question. That Baker's about afraid it. to throw to Schwartz because of what happened the first couple games. Right, I don't disagree. But so with that, the Broncos we should win. Steelers we should win at the Bengals. It'll probably be a pick 'em. It, if I was Vegas, it'll probably be a pick 'em. Yeah, it's probably gonna be like a one or two point spread. Us either plus way. one, you plus one, yeah. or pick 'em is what I feel like. Then we go to the Patriots. Before last night, I honestly thought that would be a win, but the Patriots actually put up a good fight yeah, against the Cowboys. So. <laughs> they, they had that every opportunity to win that game, literally. Yeah, that game was the Patriots nuts. are good one week, bad the next. It's good literally, that's week, what it's been this next. year. So yeah. then, then we play the Lions. So we have those five games. We have to go 4-1 and one in those five games. We have to. We have to go 4-1 and one in those games. And what happens if you don't? You're like done. Well, no You're shit, writing Jake. it off. What happens? I mean, I'm not writing it off, but if we go two and three or three and two, it's going well, to be it's going to be a tough like, fight I, to get to the if playoffs. I'm a Browns yeah, fan, I don't hit the tough. panic button unless you were to somehow lose Thursday. Then you might be kind of putting your hand on absolutely. it. Like. If we lose Thursday, absolutely panic. We should not lose to the Broncos. That's the easiest team on our schedule in the next five weeks. Wait. Outside of the Lions, I was going to say, wait, didn't you say the Lions? But the Lions are like one of those teams. Like, okay, they hang with Baltimore and then. That's Yesterday so they weird. looked like a Division three high school football team. So, so I think weird. if you guys get healthy and you're good, whatever, it'll be the Bengals and the uh, Browns fighting for a playoff spot at the end of the year. I think all three of us fighting for. I think personally, I think the Bengals are the second to last seed. The Browns are one seed higher than us, and Baltimore is a one or two. Agreed with Jake there. I think we I, get three teams in, in our division. I also think the Steelers beat the Browns if you come in injured. You come in with no running backs. Dude, God, you guys, I hate Booger. He's, your offense God. is terrible. Our offense is terrible, but <laughs> their that, defense dude. is gonna is what is <laughs> winning like us games. You come into Pittsburgh, or <laughs> we go into Cleveland, you don't have a running back. I'd like to think that if we get our offensive, I think our running problem yesterday. Obviously, Kareem was already banged up going into the game, and then got hurt, re hurt his his calf even more, and had to leave the game. But I think even with the Ernest Johnson and Cedric Felton, if we can have our starting offensive line, which is the best offensive line in the NFL, we can run the ball with anybody back there, and Baker can have time to throw the ball, but we don't have that right now with both of our starting tackles out. A rookie in James Hudson and fucking a guy named Blake playing left. So. Our, um, our running backs coach is great, too, and Felton has some wheels on him, so if he can get open, like if he can find a, a hole, then he's gone. Running back is the most re- replaceable position in football. It literally, yeah, if you have a good line, statistics. Say, no, it doesn't matter. Statistics say like well, if you, if you a line, take a running back out and place another one, it doesn't change the game by look hardly what, what anything. What the Broncos did a couple years back with Philip Lindsay. Yeah. That, that guy went. Didn't he go undrafted? Or oh yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he came out of nowhere. Yeah, he had he, one good uh, season yeah. and played for Colorado. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying though, like it just it, it, like Colorado. That's where he went to college, college. and then oh. got signed. Un- like as a like free, Drew said, un- like it doesn't matter if it's one good season or yeah. not. It's running back is replaceable. I mean, it's not. It doesn't. All right, let's move through the games. Uh, week six, the Jaguars get their first win over in London. Yep. After Shout losing out to twenty them. in a row, forgot that game was even on. It's been reported that Urban Meyer did fly back with the team to America. So that's <laughs> good, good job, coach. <laughs> Mo Egger actually tweeted that he was like. Urban here, London's a pretty cool town. Probably shouldn't <laughs> fly back with the team. <laughs> <laughs> Had to visit family. Not really much on the Jags game. I don't really care about that. Nah, I, yeah. All I saw was the field okay. goal. <laughs> Urban. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Shout out to Urban. Aaron Rodgers beat the Bears. He's like 22-5 and five against the Bears in his career. I he's fucking, still fu- I yeah. fucking yeah. own you. I own you. So did you, you see he's saying some lady gave Some lady him gave him some double bird. <laughs> I got the picture right here. Oh, she, there's a there's a picture. Oh, I of that. Yeah, I, found I thought it. I screenshot it. There's a picture of multiple fans flipping them all. Here it is. 
he was just going to give it to like one fan. And then yeah, so there's multiple fans. Yeah, flipping them off at I the can't same see, time. Could you have done? No. Yeah. So uh, multiple fans flip off Aaron Rodgers. He yells at him, "I still fucking own you. I've always owned you. I always <laughs> will own you." Or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Um, Dude, the great. best thing yeah. is Bakiari tweeted was like. So they the tweet at the time, like before everything came out, was like allegedly Aaron Rodgers says I own you, blah blah. blah. And Bucky already just tweeted, "Can confirm." <laughs> <laughs> Definitely said that. I mean, uh, in reality, he does. I mean, I think yeah, Bears I mean, beat him five times in his whole career. Twenty-two and five. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I pretty much own you. Yeah. Cowboys Patriots OT thriller. That was a lit- that was an insane like final five minutes of the game was absolutely bonkers. That, Dude, that last third touchdown was nuts. Uh, you yeah. see uh, C.D. Lamb, the, whoever the defensive back was, <laughs> shoved him as he went in the end zone. He stood up, just waved at him. Well, so, awesome. well, before that, you had so you had the Cowboys got the pick six, right? Yeah. Didn't they like miss the field goal or something, and then they got the pick six? I only caught like, no, the last five minutes of it. No, something, pick six, and then a, the very first play, they get the ball back. Yeah, the touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Cowboys, I think, missed a field goal before the pick six. Or some, yes, they something did. Something they like shaked, Zerline yeah, yeah. Somebody wants yeah. to two. Yeah. 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 They went. No, they – he, it was an actual field goal. Yeah, they missed shanked the field it. goal. It went oh. far left. Then uh, number seven, whoever he is, Diggs, Diggs yeah. intercepted it and ran it back. For and a pick six, and then the very, very next, next play, play they, the get, they go they at burned. Diggs on a double move. Like, yeah. Yeah. Trayvon Diggs gets all this whatever because he has seven picks, but he's also allowed like the most yeah. touchdowns of any corner <laughs> in football because all he does is try to jump a, the route. He's a rookie, right? Yeah. Crazy, though, that no. he has more touchdowns than his Stephon brother. Diggs. No, he's not a rookie. Yes, no, he, he is. Yeah, he is. I swear he's a rookie. No. Uh, no, it's a second season. No, it's second a second season. Second say season. he's a rookie or second season. Okay. Yeah. I don't um, know, man. So, yeah, he has seven tracks, interceptions. Yeah. He's tied with Deion Sanders for the record for the most interceptions in the first six games. Hmm. It was a crazy game. Yeah, you, got, you had the uh, touchdown from Mac Jones that right after the pick six, and then you went to overtime, and CeeDee Lamb with the walk-off. I keep on see, seeing people being wishy-washy about Mac Jones. I like him. I think I he's pretty good. He had good numbers years. yesterday. They didn't throw the ball very much, but I, I think he was like 16 of 21. They, 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 they haven't cards. completely – I don't know if he doesn't have an understanding or they just don't want to completely let him go yet, but he does not throw the ball very many times. He was like 7 for 7, 100 yards to start the, the game. He was 15 of 21 to end the game, 229 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. He's played better than I thought he was going to play, but that's also – I just think Belichick's a good coach and they, he can scheme up against any, any opponent. The Cowboys 5-1, and one, though. They look damn good. Yeah, Cowboys are gonna be. Yeah. Yes, they do. And I've always been a Dak fan. What do you not like about the Cowboys? Yeah, what is what there's is the just, Cowboys show to say they're not good? There's just something that's gonna happen that is, and they're just gonna completely fall. They look good now. Something could completely gonna, happen. I didn't, to the I didn't Bengals. say about what they're gonna do. I just said that they look. I mean, they'll, good. They'll this is also the, the guy that sent a text earlier that said he couldn't understand why LSU's letting go of Coach O. <laughs> <laughs> give a coach time to like recruit and rebuild you can't just win every four years you're not Nick Saban in college you have you have I mean did they win before Joe Burrow if, if <laughs> Ryan Day loses four games a year you're uh, saying he's at Ohio State no. how long years he there? how many of that's those different that's Ohio no it's State. it's LSU dude they have yeah, you're playing in they the feel the same way we feel stuff. about Ohio State but real quick well they're not Ohio State Let's they've won as straight. many national championships they literally have yeah, but you have Alabama and all those other teams in the SEC compared to Ohio State that has, what, two to three teams that are really competitive. Ohio State's, of course, going to be expected to kick ass every game compared to the tough SEC West. I'm not on the SEC bandwagon. Here's the, that's just what it is. The SEC is isn't is much better coach. than the Big Ten this year. They're really not. They're really not. I Top mean, to Iowa, bottom, dude. Iowa, I don't know what happened to Iowa, but the Big Ten has been better. <laughs> exactly. What Real quick. Mean? Go Gators. Let's go Gators. <laughs> I, I, we don't talk college football. Nobody cares about the LSU situation, honestly. Yeah. But what I'm going to say is most of those players that okay. were on that LSU championship team were, were not, not Coach, Coach O's, O's recruits. Joe Burrow was. So that then was they gave him a chance it. to recruit for two years. It's not working out. You're out. You don't get that. You don't get that much time when you play when you coach. They, a the team. thing what I will give them. How's it doing? Keep it moving. But that's oh, what really pisses that. me off about like them firing Brady Hook from Michigan because Jim Harbaugh only did really well. With Brady Hook's recruits, they're pretty damn good this year. Uh, they're, they're how about them Steelers on Monday okay, yeah. night? So, Sunday night. <laughs> Steelers win on Sunday night football overtime. A wild game, honestly. You guys were up like fourteen to nothing at one point. Defense or played. 14, you were up fourteen Shut, seventeen seven. Shut so, out. Uh, they came back. First half, second half. Uh, I, fuck, we shit the bed. Terrible game. Terrible Dude, offensive game. Dude, fan runs on the field in the first half. <laughs> Dude, D, yeah, DK Matt half. He goes in motion. He's the like fan runs in front of him. Cuts him off. 
That's one of the rare moments hilarious. when the fan actually gets TV time. Right. Because it was timed Normally perfectly. Cut it off, Did you see yeah. the one in London where the guy's out there and, like, nobody's saying anything? Like, he's literally just walking on the field. Like, <laughs> you guys didn't see that? You could probably just, like, jump no, on the sideline. I heard that there was a, a fan that ran on the No, field he's literally game. out there, like, slapping high five. The players are, like, high fiving him, and nobody's coming out to get him. And finally, like, a guy in a suit, like, realizes what's going on. And he's like, hey. And they're just, like, standing there. Then you see security, like, 30 seconds after he's slapping high fives come, like, run around them. It's in London, you don't expect people to do that. And then people, like, They do it all the time, time in soccer, soccer games. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's, like, a big thing. Yeah, hey, that stadium that they played in, the Tottenham, Tottenham is sweet. Is that how you say it? Tottenham? They normally play in Wembley. That stadium they played in yesterday is badass. Yeah. They played that one last time. Yeah. Uh, isn't that the one that the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars owns? No, that was Wembley. No, Wembley. Okay. You can Wembley. go to like the this top one is of the, the newer stadium one. or whatever. It's fucking crazy. That That's was a the nice, one where the, the, the field comes up. They can or, change the field in 25 minutes. 25 yeah. minutes, they push a button. The field drops down and the soccer field comes up. 25 yeah, minutes. It's <laughs> it's, it's I would love to see a video of that. Yeah, the the way like the scoreboard is like on the – so like the outside of the end zone, the field like – the stands like dips down like it this and the scoreboard it, it almost kind of looks, looks like how seattle looks like yeah how it's, it's kind of like so the, yeah the steelers um <laughs> <laughs> how we got back to that, that what? Right. uh so when, the steelers they won i did i'll be honest i fell asleep in the first quarter didn't watch uh the it was a rough first half i mean first quarter yeah. in general it was just Snooze a defensive fast. game and then pittsburgh finally started scoring went to halftime seattle came back out whoever their guy running the ball was Alex Collins. Alex Collins. Yeah, he, he did Carson? well. No. Chris Carson. Alex no, Carson. Carson. No. Chris Collins is out. Or Chris Carson is out. Alex Collins, Collins is in. He needs more touches because he's yeah, way better than letting Geno Smith throw the fucking ball. ball. Uh, ben, <laughs> ben went deep more this game than he has almost all season. He went deep. Did he complete? He did a couple, but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he overshot Claypool a couple times. Uh, I saw ben that. had that clear fumble that a lot of people are Steeler fans are. It wasn't a fumble, but. That was definitely it a pump fake. When you get the ball down to your head, I, that's a yeah. fumble. It was a clear fumble. I don't think that Mike Tomlin even really argued it much once he actually saw it. Um, I don't know. Pittsburgh, like I, I keep saying over and over and over again, that we are going to win games <laughs> on our defense. Yeah, but the, like. The play con hasn't changed. I don't know why. They were sucking they, off their defense on Good Morning Football. It's like you gave up 20 points to the Gino defense, Smith. <laughs> the defense shit the bed in the second half. First half, they shut it down. It's like they, they got confident. If you guys didn't have TJ Watt, you would be, be fucked. Up so that was bad. one thing they talked about in Good Morning Football this today, too, is you take Christian McCaffrey for Carolina. He is their team. You take – in most teams, it's the running back. But 90% of teams, it's their quarterback. You take him That's out, he's weird. done. For I Pittsburgh, probably wishing you had that guy. It's, Dupree, yeah. <laughs> it's TJ Watt. You take TJ Watt out of Pittsburgh, there's no Pittsburgh defense. It's kind of crazy. I mean, uh, that makes well, more sense than a running back because you have an issue. Do yeah, what? but because like Drew said, running backs are replaceable as fuck. But like a well, dominant cases, edge got, like, like that. Christian McCaffrey in Carolina, yeah. he is their team. Their offense. Derrick yeah. Henry is Tennessee. Everybody oh, yeah, else, they'd be. Yeah. yeah, Steelers fans did the wave while a guy was down, paralyzed on the field. Yeah, that was that pretty was pretty cool. wild. Not paralyzed <laughs> at the moment. He was. He was. He could not move. He's moving. Injured at the time. And then Matt tried to give us some bullshit excuse. No, so I, they didn't know. Hold and on. Literally you in the video, they're doing, doing the wave, wave too. as everybody's kneeled around him, and the cart is pulling on the field. In the <laughs> video. I uh, said it was disrespectful, but I do believe that it was not intentional for them to be disrespectful. We've gone through it with Ryan Sagier. If if it was intentional, fuck every fan that was there. But I I Aim it. truly don't believe it was intentional for them to. Oh, you guys are assholes. It probably was. Steelers won. They're, they're you three know and how three. that feels with Ryan Shazier, though. That's yeah, what that's, I, what, that's, that's what, what I said. Saying. I was today. at the game. Yeah, Ryan Shazier did in it Cincinnati. If we'd have done that, it would have right. been outrage from oh, everybody because it was the Steelers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys did it when. Did Jesus you guys see what out. Russell Wilson did before the game? Oh yeah, he's, yeah, he's a nut job. What the fuck was that? He might need. Did to you get see? A you psych. didn't see it? No, you didn't see. I didn't watch it. He no, just ran it on Twitter. It wasn't up. on TV. Maybe they showed it. No, on it was on TV. He's warming up, and he looked. This like man four. ran a two-minute drill by himself all the way down the field. He he got in the huddle and got down on a knee with nobody yeah. on the field. He ran just a two-minute drill just him. in his head, like he he got in the huddle and he caught a play. There's no huddle. There's nobody there. It's just him on the field. 
And he got in the huddle, like got down on a knee and everything, like yeah. calling a play. Went up to the line of scrimmage. Ready, break. There's nobody. There's no the... one on the field. Like I, don't, I just feel like I have to keep saying that because there's yeah. nobody on the field. Just He's him. like just in him. the shotgun, like calling out audible, check, check. Takes a snap. He rolls out and he has no football in his hand. He has no football in his hand. <laughs> he still He's still like, interception. Hey, hold on. We used to do that, so. Well, okay, he's not a twelve-year-old. <laughs> he's a professional yeah. NFL quarterback. I mean, to be fair though, he's done it so many weeks, never out. I mean, maybe it was just habit. Like, yeah, like, he even I came out also, for the overtime like, coin injured, toss too. Everybody was so throwing weird. a fit. And then like the commitment to it to get down on a knee in the huddle with nobody standing around you. I, hey, he, I think he's weird yeah. in general. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead <laughs> Mr. Impossible. Go. You can't that was ask the, him that was the weirdest thing ever. What they talked about on the Pat show on Pat show was like they had that sky cam. Like, he knew the cameras were on him. Like, that's why he did it. <laughs> right? I bet he handed it off inside the five. No, the weirdest thing he did when he's like, <laughs> Mr. Incredible, or whatever the fuck, Mr. Whatever he what said was he was. Inc- Mr. Was Unlimited. Uh, Unlimited. <laughs> that was the weirdest, like, cringiest thing I've ever seen. He's and then, so funny. Ever- Go Hawks. Yeah. So Go Hawks, uh, baby. Aaron Rodgers. Both of them are just weird. In oh, different yeah. ways. Have you ever seen this before? Like, not the just the no. two-minute thing. That was the weirdest shit I've ever seen. And then they send him out for, for the, the coin yeah, toss in to overtime. That was weird. Did they really? This he, man's not even yeah. playing in the game. They sent him out for People the coin toss. People were, like, toss. pissed. They're I like, why is he of, out there for the coin toss? Which I, I honestly That's kind so of like, like that. that. So, but like, hold, I, isn't he on IR? Yeah. He is on IR. I didn't yes. think you could... He had a whole ass surgery on his finger. What yeah. he, no, he the co- he's the gonna game? be there with a headset on. Like. But I didn't think he could go out to the field to participate. He in did the coin toss. toss. I mean, he's I, this has got to be the first time. I mean, is there a rule that I um, mean, so can the coach go do the coin the, toss? Yeah, Why does it matter? So the Bengals first game of the year, um, Joe Burrow had the Bengals director of rehabilitation. Oh that's yeah, different. come out with him for the kickoff. That's different. They do How? shit like that all the time. Oh, like an honorary. Like an honorary. I just didn't think yeah. this man went out by himself. He's a fucking honorary. <laughs> no, he went out there. The he went out there with a third string no, quarterback, yeah. the guy that was backing up. Chiefs. Oh, he wasn't so by himself. So no. it was Russell Wilson and the the third string quarterback who was the backup quarterback. So why do you need Smith. both of them? I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. Just to be you're saying you're like it, but then you're arguing why they did it. So <laughs> like, I don't understand the third <laughs> string quarterback. I I like the fact that Russell Wilson wants to be involved so much. Like, I respect that. Like, I truly well, do. Well, they said that. normally that the only time they ever see Geno Smith is when he comes out for a coin toss because, you know, he doesn't play. But so you're I, saying Russell Wilson, Geno Smith? No, I'm just kidding. I know, but that's why that's why the third string quarterback was out there. I got. You. I, don't know. I can't remember what game it was. It was a couple weeks ago, but a kicker missed the game winning kick, so they went to overtime and they made him go out right after he missed the kick to do the coin. It was, Mason, yeah. it was Mason that Crosby. Was, like that was just, Crosby against oh, yeah, 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 yeah. McPherson. Yeah, that, that was, was fucking you hilarious. So, I won't it's forget like, that shit. You won't even come over here. You just yeah, walk just your ass the fuck out. You better go. You better go win that coin toss, right? That was that's probably actually smart because he was probably gauging the win. See if they didn't win, which side he wanted to kick towards. Right. Yeah. So Matt. speaking of kicking, and we didn't talk about it last week, was the double punt. Did you guys see that? Yes. Yeah, so was that legal or not? No. Well, did you Seattle. hear? There was a Thursday night game before. The best part was they had the the ex head of officials on there, like, yeah, you cannot do that. Yeah. And then they do it. let and then it go. Like, There's no foul on the play, and he's like. Well, well, I'm not going to look it up. These yeah. new rules, you know? <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. If you that was get sweet. your pump block and you can pick it up and punt it again, that like, was, more power to you. I think as long as it's dude. behind like, the line, that's probably the only time everyone? in our life the that's happened. The only thing I so. thought, though, was, like, he. I mean, he ran a good distance, and I don't know, maybe I thought that would might. Make it come but back. Oh, you can, of how far he ran. He wasn't above the. He wasn't beyond the line of scrimmage. Yeah, though. theoretically, yeah, you can pick up the ball and run to where you want to punt the ball but the other so. team had touched it that's why it was like the yeah. rules were different i don't know i, that was I feel as like cool as when kevin huber went like behind the back with the ball and punted it that was sweet he's the one that, that did that yeah, yeah, yeah oh yeah got he, blocked and then, and, <laughs> um what else we got here playoff predictions connor has well here no i didn't write that down. i did oh we'll go best team in the nfl then playoff predictions okay best team Same. in the nfl right now i'll go first i would say I want to say the Packers, but honestly, I just watched the Packers? Cardinals kick the shit out of us, and I didn't even write the Packers down. Cardinals. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a different team that you guys what? are not gonna like. We're I'm not gonna go right. the Baltimore We're Ravens. Ravens. Oh, boy. I, you can't disagree. You yeah. Cannot disagree. I'm, they're too up and down for me, dude. They should have lost. What do you mean? They're five and one. They should have lost to the Colts. They should have lost to the fucking Lions. I'm not convinced like, I don't. that the Rams aren't the best team in football. I'm really not. I, I'm out on the Rams. How? Why? They just beat the dog <laughs> shit out of the, yeah, the fuck? Out of who? The Giants. 
The Giants. Still, but they dude, still if you win, beat, beat the dog shit, shit out of them. Winning like by close. dog shit out of the Winning line. by... And I'm not saying we're the best team in the NFL. Jordan, who's your best team in the NFL? Uh, I mean, right now, it's a toss-up between Buffalo and Arizona. I mean, what Arizona did yesterday to Cleveland was, like, opening my eyes. I mean, I picked Cleveland in, like, all my parlay bets I made yesterday. I'm really disappointed in your team because of that. Um... <laughs> Besides that, I just – Buffalo, ever since week one, they took that loss personally, and they've just been going, and I just – I don't know who can stop Buffalo right now. Somebody I like will, Buffalo. but I, I don't know who's going to do it right now. Zach. Not the Titans. Definitely not the Titans. The Browns. Man, I'm going to – I might have to say the Bills. I agree. Like, it's – uh, it's uh, So, we got three Bills, they just, they one got, Ravens, got, Cardinals. Got, Cardinals. Bills for I said AFC, Packers. Rams for huh? NFC. I said Packers. Oh, well, I, just said I, still, I still think it's the Rams. So Rams, Rams. Nah. It's a toss up between obviously Pittsburgh and no, Joey. <laughs> it's a toss up between Rams and Bills, and I would I would lean right now towards the Bills being the best team. Did you say Jake Cardinals? Cardinals. I, mean, I just I Matt, if Matthew Stafford can keep it up, I mean he, I think he's the MVP between him or Kyler, one of the no. two. Yeah. Right now it's Kyler. But it's Kyler and Lamar right now. Like Josh yeah, Josh and Josh Allen. Allen. You're right, Josh Allen. Why Lamar? What do you mean? Why Lamar? Lamar's he been is, he's been. I, I don't out. understand the hate on Lamar Jackson. I, I understand Lamar, he plays. Calvin would fuck Lamar out. Jackson off. I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you paid me. <laughs> no, <laughs> this, this, is, this is absurd. Last week against the Colts, Monday Night Football, Lamar yeah, Jackson that was absurd. Thirty-seven of forty-three, four hundred and forty-two yards. Yeah, that was good. Four five hundred fantasy points plus sixty-two yards on the ground. Hold on. So I had to play one of my buddies in fantasy last week, and I right before that Monday night game, I started messaging him like, "Oh, I just beat you by fifty. It's over. No chance." Yeah, I got fucked by Lamar. Yeah, too. next morning he calls me like, "I want my apology well, I, now. So Give me my apology." I'm like, "Damn it!" I brought three points. You can't use fantasy football as a football argument. I will. All right, no. So MVP stands for Most Valuable Player. Lamar Jackson is. No, they're still here. good. One, two, they three. are still top ten rusher in the NFL. If you, if it's literally okay. most valuable no, player, it would be Joe Burrow because the Bengals would be complete dog shit Factual. if Joe Burrow. If it if you're the true, Ravens would be absolute dog shit without Lamar Jackson. No, they would. Their back? Like no, they have a great defense. What do you mean? Their defense. Their defense okay, is but, good. I mean, I guess it would depend who else would be. Okay, so so but if you took Joe Burrow <laughs> off the Bengals, the Bengals would be a three win team. Baltimore would not. Facts. Uh, okay, that statement I would agree with. So you're so that's the most valuable player. That's literally what it is. Are we uh, I, the most sorry, valuable player? Is a popularity arguing? contest. It depends who you replace Lamar with. <laughs> Correct. Lamar is the most valuable player to his team, as Burrow is to your team. Like that, that's it's the same thing. It depends who you if you swap them. Okay, same results. If you put. Fucking Baker Mayfield on the Ravens right now? They're probably not five and one. Dude, look at Jerry. That's why I agree with Dan. Look at Jerry Golf. He's just up there like, Durr. He probably hates his life. He went from fucking <laughs> L.A. to shithole Detroit. That's what I was telling Austin. I'm like, could you imagine? Like, he probably and so And with the 32nd right pick, the Detroit Lions, you're like, fuck. <laughs> I got to go find a house right. in Well, I'll tell you, for, first of all, it's not the 32nd pick. Well, the first pick. that's Super Bowl. All right, moving on real quick. What else you got, Connor? What was, what was next? <laughs> playoff prediction. I didn't have it pulled up. I just was asking what was Playoff going. prediction. Yeah, playoff Seven teams each way. We're going to do seven teams. No, We're each going to do oh seven teams God. AFC, <laughs> NFC. We'll just do AFC because that's <laughs> all we give a fuck NFL. about anyway. Let's just, no, yeah, no. let's just do AFC real quick. They do this on uh, the Brown Show. Seven in, se- seven in heaven, seven teams, AFC. Connor, go one through seven. No, you go. Hold on. Okay, I'll go, I'll go first. Seven. So seven seed for me. I don't want to say it. You, you want to say it? Who okay. they? Just say Who it. they? No, I, no, actually, I was, no, I, I was gonna say something else. But I'm changing it up. Go ahead, go ahead. Right, so seven seed. I'll give it to you. I'll go the Bengals with at seven. I'll get. I'll say Bengals God, at that's seven. A four. No, I'm just kidding. Go at six. I'm gonna say the Browns. I'll put the Browns at six right now. And at at five, I'll put the Chiefs. At four, Tennessee. At three, Chargers. Two. Bills, no, nope, I'm going to go two Ravens, one Bills. Drew, go ahead. All right. So, seven. I'm going to go with the Titans. They're Somebody dead. has to win Wait, that division. You division didn't pick a team winner. out of that division. They have to be four. I said Tennessee four. If you win the division, oh, you're four. Yeah. So, four. Okay. 
So I'll go three wild card. Raiders at seven, Bengals at six, Browns at five, Titans at four. You're saying the Chargers, Chargers and the Chiefs are going to not make it to the playoffs? Yeah, you, that's you gotta you're kick saying the one of those out. is. Yeah, so the Chargers. I don't know. It's so tough, dude. Like, everything's so, the Chargers so tight. Chargers at seven? Yeah, I, I can't. So you're saying Raiders out, right? Yeah, Raiders out. Right now. Like it, God. I have to get at least halfway through the season before so I can. So we'll go from it. top down. Yeah, we're really, we're really all their bells interchange one or two. Really, for me, what we're debating is what, like one wild card spot. Yeah. That's what we're debating. Yeah. Because we're all saying Bills, Ravens. We're all yeah. saying Titans are winning that. Chiefs, division. Chargers, Titans, yeah. Browns, Bengals, and then one team. I think Pittsburgh, can which sneak I in. think would be, which was what I was, was I think debating they can was sneak the Bengals. In. I don't think they'll do anything. You think anymore. our entire division makes the playoffs? No, the Bengals no and the Steelers. No. They can't. We can't no. all four make it. Well, we could all four make it, but That's then you're saying, saying Chiefs like, or Chargers are out. I think Chiefs. Chiefs, are, Chiefs are trash. Right now, yeah, the Chiefs. Suck. I don't. I'm never counting Patrick Mahomes out. Yeah. Never. That, like, that's no. his, dude. They literally. Did you guys see that play where he like runs this way, runs that way, and he literally throws it like 50 yards from the right to the left on a rope? And like, so one of the film analysts I follow is one that like, he was like, I can't come up with how he generates enough power to throw that ball. Like, I can't. Uh, he's he's a one of a kind. I agree with that, but I just think. Uh, for some reason, their team is just not. They're going to have to score 40 to win. Like, yeah. that's just. I can't believe I'm going to say this right now, but everybody bashes Baker Mayfield for all his fucking turnovers, and then Patrick Mahomes has more interceptions than Baker Mayfield. Well, so does Joe Burrow. Right Baker only has three interceptions this year. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm talking about. Touchdowns, no, I'm talking so. about in general. Yeah, we also have the best run game in the league. We have the best. We have the most rushing okay. touchdowns. Of, what I'm so saying yeah, I think is. Pittsburgh is that squeezes in the playoffs. We lose wild card round. No, you're not, no, you're not getting in the playoffs. Okay. <laughs> does anybody else want to give quick playoff predictions, real quick? What do you guys got? Really, I mean, we're really just debating the last two teams. Bengals or Steelers? Uh, Bengals, that's really okay. it. Okay. Bengals or Steelers? Okay. Bengals or Steelers? Why not Oakland? You got to pick one right now. Bengals or Steelers? Bengals. Okay. I think it would be Oakland or... Right. Oakland why, are we, like, why are we Raiders, debating no, the, Raiders the Steelers? It's either schedule's the Raiders schedule's going to get very or, tough. The Raiders have, or have a soft schedule I don't schedule think the start. Steelers at the end of the season are in playoff The Raiders talks. still have to... Correct me if I'm wrong. They still have to play the Chiefs twice, the Chargers one more time, They'll beat. They already beat the Broncos. Then they they play us, and I want to say they play. They play like, us. No, you don't play them. Yes, yes we, we do. do. We, we play, play the, play the whole division. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, the Raiders have a very tough <laughs> schedule the rest of the way. So I think they're going to plateau. That's fair. Who else is uh, potentially could you see in there? So f- I think New England could squeak in. I. Th- mm. uh, uh, I just I can't get off. I think our division puts three in. Like I just oh I think guaranteed we have three in, it's unless in the Browns Pittsburgh completely shit the bed or we completely shit the bed. Well, or Pittsburgh. I don't consider Pittsburgh a playoff team. Okay, so if the playoffs started Baltimore. today, they would be the seventh seed. <laughs> Which makes no sense to me. How are you guys ahead of us? We have the same record, and you're zero and one in the division. It's win percentage in the AFC. I thought division came first. It does, it but does. you haven't played a division game yet. Okay, so we haven't played a division game. There you go. We're going to beat the Pittsburgh. Which, which is yeah, why. Without the division. like So that's like if we were head-to-head against Baltimore right now, we would be the number one seed coming out of the division because we're 1-0 in the division. Either. Yeah. Connor, anything else? All the way huh? across. Anything else? Nope. Everybody good? Or what else? We're, we're no, on the show? Oh, yeah, well, what's the time what's at? What's the time at? What's the time on the thing? Hour six. Fuck. <laughs> All right. But if you, if so you're, an hour. If you're still seven, listening so. right now, um... We got like three Shout things. Out to you. We'll save till if next you, week. If you're then. listening right now, DM at Caveman Media on Twitter. We'll send you ten bucks. You do this every out. time we have a long episode. Nobody ever DMs. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, nobody it's usually Jake, you know? Jake <laughs> or Tyler. If you're listening to the show right now, DM at Caveman Media on Twitter. You'll get ten months, ten bucks on Cash App. <laughs> Ten months. Sure. First one. <laughs> ten, no. You'll get ten months free of the cave. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you were gonna say. I was like, I was like, ten months of what? <laughs> All right. Uh, I believe we're going to go to Matt next because he's got. Some we can stuff we can there. save that for next week. Okay, we'll save that. I'm gonna say, next do you want to do the game real quick or oh, save yeah. it for next week? Um, let's do game and then we'll end it. All right. I was gonna say we're gonna do it anyway because I don't want to update the stats. We should do our locks too. Obviously. Yeah, we can skim through you this didn't at do the end. It. Oh, you're talking about next week okay. or game? All right. Uh, his game. We all just lost the game. What? what? The fuck are you talking about? So all right, I have seven players, doing? three quarterbacks, two running backs, and two wide receivers. We'll go Jordan around. Huh? We'll go from Jordan around. 
Uh, oh, we just shout it out? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be hard for me okay. and Jake, but it's, all right. Uh, I have their stats, and then I, the two hints I have are AFC, NFC, and then the division there. Okay, go. All right, first one, quarterback. 1,769 yards, 13 touchdowns, two interceptions. Justin Herbert. Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Nobody said it yet? Nope. Kyler? Nope. 1,700 yards, 13 touchdowns, two picks. Correct. Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Burrow. Kyler Murray. NFC. Russell Wilson. Two picks. Oh, Aaron Rodgers. Derek Carr. I already Matt, said Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has the, a, the least amount of passing yards. NFC North. Kirk Cousins. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Kirk, uh, Captain Kirk. <laughs> I knew yeah. that would probably be the toughest one. <laughs> I forgot Kirk only has two interceptions. He threw one against us and he threw one against us. All right, yesterday. moving on. 1,600 yards, nine position, touchdowns. Please, position. Same huh? position. Quarterback? Quarterback. 1,600 yards, nine touchdowns. Five interceptions. Joe Burrow. Nope. Justin Joe Herbert. Joe Burrow has seven interceptions. I already said that. Pat Mahomes. Nope. He has way, he has seven he has as way well. more touchdowns. I think Derek Carr. Derek Carr. Derek Carr's up there in the top. Two. Ryan Tannehill. AFC, NFC. Uh, AFC. AFC. 12 touchdowns, five Nine picks. touchdowns, Trevor five Lawrence. interceptions. Nine? No, he has way more than two interceptions. Five, oh, five, five interceptions. interceptions. He has more than that, too. He has eight. Trevor Lawrence doesn't have nine touchdowns. <laughs> Oh, is it Ben? Well, Ro- is it Ben Roethlisberger? No. AFC North. Lamar? It's Ben. Lamar. Oh. It's not Ben. Ben's only had like seven touchdowns. I did not know that. All right. Moving on, last quarterback here, 1,400 yards, seven touchdowns, eight interceptions. Ben. No, not eight interceptions. No, no. Trevor, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. So, I like boys. that game, and I've seen an, another game on, you've on TikTok right. where they do, Two. like, it's just like, so it's like just me and Connor. You, you throw a football in a trash say, can? No, you just say, oh. so it's just me and Connor, and Connor you says, say, AFC, AFC, NFC, and he says AFC, and then I yeah, go, you North, that South. The, you sent that in the group chat, remember, and Connor was like, well, that wouldn't be fun for anybody, for, but Cody and Drew. Yeah, that's why yeah that'd be, be tough. Fun. Why? Because <laughs> you literally got to go Cause you have uh, like football, baseball, hockey, soccer, and, and they say yes. And then you got to go AFC, <laughs> NFC, AFC North, football, or uh, quarterback, running back, yeah. present, past. Maybe it's so tough. <laughs> I don't know the president or past. Anyways, all right. That's all we got for you guys today. Anybody else got anything? I got, still got four. four yeah, he's four. got what a bunch you, more. Jesus. I thought you said the last one was the last one. No, I have three last quarterbacks, two, two I'm, running I'm backs. Glad. All right, I'm next two are running backs. trying to get the fuck home. I just gotta pee. He's getting a text. Like, <laughs> yeah. All right, you got time? I oh, we got plenty. I, mean, I don't want to inconvenience you. I, ha- I, just have, to, I have to think All right. this. All right. Next two are running backs. We'll speed through them. All right. 521 yards, five touchdowns. Ooh. Five touchdowns. Derrick Henry. Uh, Derrick Henry has way more than 521 yards. Derrick Henry's Chuck. close to 700. Dalvin Cook. NFC. Alvin Kamara. It's not Leonard. Daryl Henderson. Sing- no. no. Let's, I just want to look at the teams. 500 yards, five touchdowns. Zeke. <laughs> we get that doesn't count because he has no mic. So Zeke. Oh yeah, Zeke. Jordan, Jordan, yeah. Nobody heard Jordan there. Jordan said Zeke. All right, next running back, 366 yards, two touchdowns. Joe Mixon. I mean, that could be anybody. Josh Jacobs. 300 yards and two touchdowns. Is it Harris? Uh, did not play one game. What? Dalvin Cook. Oh. I, was, I thought he didn't play a single game. No, I was like, I didn't get so many yards if he never played. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I thought that at first. Oh, no, like, no. What? <laughs> Missed one game. Yeah. Did got, not, it, got, yeah, it, got yeah. it, got it, got it. All right. Uh, wide receiver, 653 yards, 46 receptions, seven touchdowns. Dix. No, it's uh, Devontae Adams. Mm-hmm. Justin Jefferson. Mm-hmm. Cup. DeAndre Cooper Hopkins. Cup. Oh. We're just naming players. This one very similar. Besides, in one category, 668 yards, same Devontae amount of receptions Adams. at 46, two touchdowns. Devontae Adams. Correct. <laughs> he only has two, two touchdowns. Two touchdowns. Damn, because Jamar I, Chase has more touchdowns. I just than knew that because I was looking at the receiver stats earlier, obviously. He just and gets so many targets. He just gets so many targets. Yeah, he has 25 more catches than Jamar, Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase couldn't hold Devontae Adams' jock strap. <laughs> Jesus. I better like, better than wide receiver <laughs> on the Browns. Yeah. I want your spread tonight. Even though this is obviously out after I got the game. Titans plus six and a half. Yeah, I don't with, want your winner. I want the plus spread. Six, I mean, Titans plus six. Titans plus six. 
plus six, and I'm going to go under 53 and a half. Over. I'm, I'm taking Buffalo. I don't know the spread right now. But six. 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 Jordan six. hasn't decided what the spread <laughs> yeah. is yet. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> With A.J. Brown and Julio, I- Give me plus six. Julio's playing. They're Julio's both playing. playing. They're both. They're they're both, both AJ Julio limited. Julio and AJ playing. Brown. I want the over and the Titans. That was Jordan with the spread. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot he's on the group. Yeah. yeah. Cody sent the video. Just, the other day. Just, uh, yeah. He's me. like, but your spread I'll, is I'll, off. I'll send Cody. you that. You guys video. are mad because no, I, I am I Vegas. There. Okay. I, I, no, I wasn't there. I, I, yeah. I'd seen it. Goes, Just give me six points on the spread. Bills Titans. I am Vegas. By the way. Bills. Minus six. Yeah, minus six. Bills all day. Minus Man, Bills this minus happened six, last week. Over. This happened last week. Who did I take? No one cares. End the show. You took Indy. And yeah, Indy. Indy. What's that? I got one more thing before you wrap up. Go ahead, Jordan. Uh, for our song of the week, I we want to dedicate. Well, me specifically, I want to dedicate it to our long lost friend Chad Holland. Um, not, not only did I play him once in a fantasy did matchup. Did he die? I, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. Kinda, he kind of did. He's in our league, isn't he? Yeah, he kind of did. I beat him this week, not once, but twice in another league. And for that, I just want to go ahead and play this song for him. So wherever you are, buddy, I hope you enjoy Jay. it. He's not listening. Wherever yeah. he's no, at. No <laughs> All right. If you, again, if you're listening to the show and you made it this far, um, at Cavemen Media on Twitter, send us a DM, 10 bucks, coming to you on, on uh, Cash App. We appreciate <laughs> you guys. Send us 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? That's what I said, yes. You have to send me 10 bucks yeah, on Cash App. And then they get a tax at, so that's going to be fun. Yep. All right. That's the show. At Cavemen Media, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Check us out. Uh, we'll see you next week. E L E everybody Hooray Everybody love everybody Hooray